The Bud Hans uh, project is the uh, supersonic car that is uh, looking to go a thousand miles an hour. It's a unique engineering challenge. Uh, and currently the car is designed and in build, uh, so roughly midway through its build and uh, should be on its wheels by July next year. So the first off is to break the current record of 762 miles an hour by going to 800 miles an hour. Then the car will come back to the UK and be stripped and checked and uh, prepared for then going out again in 2016 for uh, going up to 1,000 miles an hour. It's that enormous boost to not just engineering technology and people go, wow, the Brits have done it. Uh, and you know we're all part of that team and it's getting the children part of that team. And that is part of the whole branding, learning process that goes through in marketing to Great Britain. And you know, to have it here, I've had it in Wales and Scotland and England. Keep that going, just showing that we're the top, we're the best. When we have a statistic here that shows us only 13% of children at primary school have actually been involved in science and yet we have a much higher number than the rest of the UK who go on to engineering and technology. We've got a fantastic science park and it needs more pupils coming out of Northern Ireland and so it's part of that whole job school cycle. I'm hoping today that it just gives them that burst of enthusiasm and starts kindling that wish to want to learn and see how things work. I was part of the trustee board uh, with the Institution of Mechanical Engineers when we decided to support the Blood Hunt project to take the opportunity to increase educational awareness of engineering and so we've been part of the team of Bloodhound through the educational process for some time now. What we've been amazed at is the impact it has when you go to schools, how it fires up the imagination. More than just breaking a record, it's, uh, it's more about the engineering for, for the country. So uh, to be a part of that is, is something truly special. And you can probably see in the background lots of the young people hovering around the Bloodhound car. I've just been talking to some of those young people and telling them about the life of an engineer, what the career in engineering can be about, and hoping that it will inspire them or at least cause them to think about a career. It is an enormous engineering challenge, absolutely, from, uh, from the ground up. Uh, everything about this car has had to be uh, designed for this, uh, for this challenge. Um, it's uh, a unique challenge, it's never been done before, uh, so to go uh, beyond the current record by well over 200 miles an hour is, is uh, something that is a, a real, uh, a real, real challenge. It, it's I mean, it's that sort of future. Well, I was a great sci-fi and still am kid, really. And so when you looked at that, and I thought, wow, there's a vehicle that should be in. You know, take it back to old Batman comics or on further into science fiction with Isaac Asimov. That's what's sort of in it. I've always wanted to know what's out there, what the future is. You'll only get there if you explore all the boundaries. I mean, this is touching so many areas of engineering as well. Um, so it's not just your mechanicals, it's your aeros, your systems control, your test engineers, the manufacturing engineering, is all touches all, all areas. So uh, with all the sponsors that are involved and, and the companies that the, the car touches, it really does uh, get to the heart of, uh, of I guess, British, British engineering and, uh, and the skills that we have to offer.